our special projects division is the part of our company that does everything custom. That can be something as easy as mildly modifying a Motion Pro 2 simulator, all the way to a simulator from the ground up that meets a client's needs that are well beyond what a production simulator could do. One of our existing customers, Norwegian Cruise Lines, um, asked us to create a new simulator for their next boat. And they said, look, just throw everything you have at this, all the technology, anything you can do. The Radical project was the product of that. This is the, the project where we convert a real race car into a full motion simulator. And it is a two-seater race car, so driver and passenger. Full motion has two big, huge stage fans that speed up and slow down depending on how fast the car is going. This is not a, a common request to have a two-seater high-end simulator. We had to find a real car, the Radical SR3. It's a race car that's made in Europe. We brought this car to Virginia International Speedway to do a test day prior to bringing it here to turn into a simulator. We instrumented the car so that we could get all the telemetry and we put it through its paces. We're using a real race car because it has a telemetry system built in. That monitors everything from engine vitals to chassis information uh, to G-forces that we can then sift through afterwards and then relate that to both the digital model and how the simulator feels and make sure that they match up. From that, those graphs we can see how many G-forces the car will experience. We have all the data for the engine in the car, for the, the suspension, the angle of all the suspension arms, the damping of the shocks. And once we finish with that, we ship the car back to us, tore it completely apart all the way back down to the bare frame. We rebuilt it with a full integrated motion system, all the computers, because multiple computers that are running this, all built into the engine bay where the engine used to be. Installed the seatbelt tensioners, controls, redid all the bodywork, put a new wrap on it, and then built a touchscreen control system for it. And then all the software involved in controlling multiple computers, making sure that the passenger could see what the driver was seeing, everything was synced perfectly, yet as easy to use as an operator can walk up to it, choose track, press go, and it just runs. It is not just a model of that kind of car, it is literally a model of that exact car. It's the whole package. The fact that the car moves, the suspension moves just like a real car would, the fans are tied into the speed of the car. So as a thing that we've done as a company, it's one of the best. It's by far the closest you can possibly get with a simulator. It really recreates the violence of this type of race car and the almost sheer terror of driving a car that quickly and being that exposed in an open cockpit car. All these things have not been done together or many of them have not been done at all and the end result was very impressive.